been given my permission to board the vessel so I was told come down to the gate here the leftmost gate and it will open for me and it'll open and I'll be guided by someone onto the ship so let's see what happens Okay, let's follow this guy. There's a oh shit, look at it. It's huge. I've been on the ferry for ages, so it's uh, the novelty is going to be real. And there she's flying the flags of Belgium and Norway. Right, here we go, get on board. Hang on, they going on the left. <laughs> Wow, okay, so that's how new cars uh, get delivered. <laughs> Quite clever. Into the belly of the beast. Whoa, it's absolutely huge. Look at this thing. I do, however, need some straps. Okay, so he's gone. Ah. Hello. Okay, can I have some straps? Is that okay? Yeah. I think you do your own work in here. Right. <laughs> oh no. This is interesting. How am I going to secure? Ah, smaller ones. <laughs> I was beginning to think that I'm going to have to secure with these bloody lorry ties. Okay, that one might work. Okay, bloody hell, that's long. Some rope. This blue nylon rope actually does quite a good job, to be honest. A couple of these might do. Some rope there. Okay. Oh, I found loads of things, yeah. Yeah, to here? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, okay. And all of you are going to Breivik. Yeah, we are going to Breivik. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Okay. in the middle of the North Sea and I'm going to explain in this video how I got here and where we're going. So we're going on a little adventure which is quite exciting. So way back when in Christmas last year Susie's mum actually bought me a motorcycle guise for touring Europe. It's a big A4 size thing, hardback and everything. Lovely glossy pages and it was full of pictures so just after Christmas I was flicking through this thing and I just had the idea 
set in my head of going to patrol the hood in Norway. And basically one picture, and then I was fixated on this trip for the last, yeah, six months I've been fixed, because now the end of May, I've been fixated on this idea of coming to Norway by motorcycle. The only problem is, it's actually quite difficult to get to Norway from the UK. So I thought, oh no, I'm not gonna be able to do the trip. Luckily, I researched a little bit and found that DFDS actually do a freight service from Ghent in Belgium all the way to Breivik in Norway. It's actually a freight service, so you, you basically there's not very many people on here, but they do rent a small number of cabins and you can drive your vehicle on, park in the hold, and then you can stay in the cabin for the duration of the journey, which is around 35 hours, something like that, day and a half. Um, which is amazing really, because it saves 1,100 kilometers and two days riding to get from Ghent up to the tip of, well actually, if we get from Ghent into Norway. The thing is, it is quite expensive, it costs 600 pounds, but for that, you get your vehicle on board, get the cabin, which is two nights accommodation, and you get all meals included. So really, if you take into consideration how much it would cost, to ride 1100 kilometers with the food, the fuel, two nights accommodation, it's probably near enough the same cost, depending on how low you want to go on the accommodation. Um, I decided to go on the ferry because I want to arrive in Norway refreshed and ready to ride, really. I want that bit to be the bit I enjoy. All right, guys, well, I'm gonna show you what you actually get, what the cabin's like. So let's just have a little whip around here. Okay, so out the window, so it is quite nice to get a window, two container ships sailing alongside next to us. Got this little desk here with my map on that I'm trying to plan a route, which I haven't done yet. TV, but I haven't watched anything because it's all in um, French, I think. Here's my stuff, which I'm not very good at keeping it tidy. Oh, the bathroom, let's just show you the bathroom quickly. So it's like clean and functional. Shower's nice. But it's all immaculately clean, so it's pretty good. Yeah, here's the cabins. If we just walk up here, I'll we'll show you the uh, passenger mess. Look at this. This is where we have breakfast, and you can see on the wall here, meal times are displayed, so you have like half an hour slot for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And at the front window, I'll just quickly show you. You can see all of the trailers there facing forward up to the bow of the ship. Tea and coffee facilities. And then this lounge area, which is actually really nice. <laughs> so you can just relax in here. And then I'll just show you in here. Something which I found uh, hilarious. They've actually got all the old videotapes. So that's like police camera action from the 1990s with Rover 200 on the front. <laughs> and they've actually got the VHS player there. Obviously all the drawers locked shut. Oh, well something a bit unexpected happened. I actually felt quite seasick, which is strange like I never thought that would happen but my legs were just really jelly and just didn't feel good to walk about but I've been up for lunch because it's now 12.30 uh, local time and I've had a nice lunch basically a chickpea stew the chef prepared delicious vegetables and everything I had a nice chat to a Belgian couple who were in a 1969 VW camper van and now I feel a bit better, um, to be honest. The next thing we're doing is we've got something on the agenda at one o'clock, which is a visit to the bridge. So one other thing to consider if you're on a ferry like this, there's, there's not much to do. Like <laughs> the shop opened at 10 past 10 for 10 minutes. That's like a highlight of the agenda. Like if you didn't see the shop opening, <laughs> you've missed out. You're just stuck doing nothing for another 12 hours. The shop was open. And now our next thing of excitement is a visit to the bridge. So I will see you there.
optimize the, the fuel consumption. Mm -hmm. Has he turned around? Yes. Yeah. Yep. But uh, it's you never know with naval ships. They uh, they have uh, other objectives. It doesn't look like we're turning, does it? No, no, we're just turning. We are, we are going uh, like ah, two nautical miles uh, uh, astern of the uh, Okay. So yeah. that's uh, okay. It's okay with two nautical miles. Oh, okay. And you just double it. Oh, well. <laughs> Well, it's my last evening on board the ferry, just to reflect a little bit. It's been absolutely fantastic here. It's been a really intimate experience being on a freight ferry because there's only a small number of passengers and I've had great food. I've talked to some really nice people. The staff have been really, really lovely in looking after us. Oh, I thought my bag was going to blow away. It's so windy up here. But uh, tomorrow morning I'm up at five, early doors, um, getting on the bike and off the boat at 6 a.m. I've got a full day of riding into the fjordlands tomorrow almost fell over <laughs> it's a calm day here in norway but or in the north sea but it's not totally calm it does wobble me every now and then all right guys well thanks for tuning in and i'll see you in the morning